Hello and welcome, Sudoku friends, to a New York Times Hard Sudoku. Today is the 23rd of January, 2023. Let's see what this puzzle has in store for us. There's a one here and a one here, and that puts a one here, of course. We got a four going up here and we got a four coming down here and a four coming across here so this must be a four and now the four going up here puts a four here or here and we have a four here so one of these must be a four and one of these must be a four let's look at the one five, six, and nine, they need to go here, 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 and here. There's a one and a nine here, so this cannot be a one or a nine. And there's a five and a six here, so let's see. One and a nine here, so one of these three must be a one and a nine. Hang on. Uh, there's a six here going down here. There's a six coming up here. There's a six coming here. So this is a six here. And that makes this a six, of course. And now, this cannot be a one or a nine for obvious reasons. And this can't be a one or a nine for the same obvious reasons. So these two must be ones and nines. So I need to find a two, seven, and an eight. There's a seven here. Seven, 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 eight. No, that doesn't seem quite possible. But there must be something else we can do. Well, there's a six going up here and there's a six. No, no, no. Well, this three blocks here and one of these must be a three, and therefore one of these must be a three, right? So we got a one nine here, and we got a one nine here, so that pretty much means that one, that these two guys must be a one and a nine. So if these are one and a nine, ah, we had a one and a nine over here, didn't we? So this is a one and a nine, and this is a one and a nine. So in effect, we have five givens across this row number six. And uh, that means that a two and an eight must go here. That means that an eight must go here or here. One nine, one nine, we still need to find a space for a four, eight, and a seven, and a five, of course. <laughs> so we've got a five here, and therefore a five will have to go here, here, or here. We got an eight here, so therefore an eight must go here or here. Two must go up here somehow. What night? I thought, I thought. Let that rest for a while. And instead, let me look at if these are one and a nine, I still need to find something for these four squares. And they have to be a three, five, seven, and a four. So seven coming down here, and therefore one of these must be a seven, right? And therefore one of these must be a seven. Then one and a nine are accounted for. A three must therefore go here or here, and therefore here and here. Then there's a four here or here, but that doesn't help me much. The five could go in any of those four squares. But uh, hang on a second. If this is a one nine and this is a one nine, then the seven here blocks here. And therefore one of these must be a seven. We know that much. So let me examine 
column nine, we need to find still uh, three, four, five, six, eight. There's a three, six, and an eight here. So this is a four, five. There's a four, six, eight here. So this is a three, five. So we got a three, four, five in these two cells. We still need to find space for a six and an eight. And there's a six and an eight here. So therefore this cannot be a six or an eight. And therefore this cell and this cell must be a six and an eight. How about that? So six and an eight here and six and an eight here, leaving me with the three, four and a five to place. The five can't go here. So the five must go here, here or here. These four cells must be two fours. I don't know if I mentioned it, but these being a one and a nine, one of these must be a seven and therefore one of these must be a seven. That's not terribly important right now, but it may come in handy later. But I'm just now noticing the six coming down here and the six coming over here. And that makes one of these a six, doesn't it? And we also have a six here and we have a six here. So this square must be a six and therefore this square here must be a six. Surely that means something. This center square is pretty restricted. I think it's got to be a one, a five, a five and a, or a nine. We got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, a five or a nine must go here. But it doesn't really give me anything, does it? Let me for a moment go back to the one nine here and the one nine here, leaving these four cells to be filled with a four, five, seven, and an eight. There's a four, seven here. So this is a five or an eight. And we've got a four and a five here. So this is a seven or an eight. And we've got a seven and an eight here. So this is a four or a five. So the missing piece of this puzzle is a three. I don't know where that goes. But hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a three blocking all the way up here. And there's a three blocking here. So one of these must be a three. And we have a three here. So this is a three, right? So a three, four, five, six, eight. Three, four, five, six, eight. Three, five, six, eight. This is a four, right? And remember how, yes, this is a four. Uh, and this is a six, eight, and this is a six, eight. So this is a three and a five, and this cannot be a three. This must be a five, and this must be a three. I think that helps. One of these now must be a five, of course, because we've got a five going down here and a five coming up. And this, as I said, is a six, eight, and this is a six, eight. One of these must be a five. Let's see what else we have in this row here. Oh, we have a one and a nine here, don't we? So these two guys must be a one and a nine. And these are therefore a two and a seven, and we know I think I know that one of these must be a seven. Yes, because one of these two have to be a one and a nine. So of course, one of these is a seven. Therefore, of course, this must be a two and this must be a seven. And now one of these two squares must be a seven. 
I feel that I'm getting somewhere. Unfortunately, all of these three cells can be a two unless I find some delimiter somewhere or a restriction. Let me go back to these two guys. <laughs> of course, uh, they have to be a seven and a four. Yes, and we have a four up here. So therefore this is a four, a four I said, and this is a seven. Yes. And we know that one of these must be a four and we know that we have a four here. So one of these three squares must be a four. And now we have a four here and here blocking everything but this square here. And these are now one and nine. So in effect, we have five givens for the column. Let's see if we can do something with that. Uh, two, three, eight and a five still to be found. Three, six, this is a two or a five. We have got a two here. So one of these, one of these is a two, yes. What about the six and the five? And what about the three and the five? That doesn't strike me as obvious. Let me look at this column here. One, two, a three, five, and a six to be found. Six here. So one of these could be a six. And we know that one of the, that actually we know that one of these must be a six and this is a six or an eight. But all of these new finds, do they change the one and the nine and the one and the nine here? Yeah, well, they give me a seven and an eight here and here, don't they? And since we have a seven here, then this must be an eight and this must be a seven. And now the eight here and here force an eight to go here or here. We still need an eight for the cell. And therefore this must be a six and this must be an eight like so. Yes. And now there is a matter of a two, three and a five for these guys here. There's a two going up here. So this is a two and this is a three and a five and the five here puts a five here and three here. Now one of these must be a five and the other must be a two. Yes. And one of these must be a two. Got a two. Well, Hang on, we got a two going over here. So of course this is a two, right? And that makes one of these a two here because we got these two in here, right? And we got the two here. These two guys must be a seven and an eight and we got an eight coming up here. So this is a seven and this is an eight. And now the seven here blocks here and the seven here blocks here, the seven here blocks here, so this is seven. These were a two and a five, right? And that makes these a three and a nine. We have a three here, so this must be a nine and this must be a three. Now the nine goes down here and that makes this a one and this a nine. And therefore this must be a one and this must be a nine because we already analyzed the one nine pair here to death, did we? Now one of these must be a nine and therefore this must be a nine and this must be a, no, a one and a nine, of course. So what's left? These two cells are left. They must be a five and a two. And that can't be resolved yet, but this one can, of course, and that has got to be a six. And these two empty squares must be a five and a three, and they also can't be resolved yet. So this is a two or this is a two. Let me attack this in a less random way. We've got these two squares to fill with an eight and a seven. And we have a seven here. 
making this an eight and this a seven. So eight here or here and eight here or here. The other, oh, the other one must be a four, right? Yes. Four and an eight. Not that that helps me a lot because we have a four and a four here. But we got a two, five, and a nine here. And we got a nine coming down and the nine coming over. So this is a nine and this is a two, five, and this is a two, five. The nine here and here and here puts a nine firmly in this square. And now we got this one blocking here, the one here blocking here, making this a one. And now one of these must be a one and it can't be this because of the one here, right? So this is a one. That was a two five, right? And this is a two five, this is a two five, and these two have to be a two and a five, of course. So if these are a two and a five, then this must be a eight, making this an eight, making this a four, making this a four, I believe, yes. And now these two must be a three and a five. We have a five here. So this is a three and this is a five. And therefore one of these must be a three. But what's more important is that this one here must be a two, making this a two and this a five and this a five here, five here, two, two, and two. That's how it's got to be. These must be a three and a seven. We have a seven in the row. So the three goes here and the seven here. And that puts a three here and a five here if everything is, that worked. It was not an easy puzzle today, but it was nice. I liked it. And um, I really think that the New York Times, I don't know what they did to their algorithm but their puzzles have uh, been picking up lately and become much more interesting to solve. I hope that you enjoyed it as well and that you will come back for more soon. Thank you for watching and bye for now.